Hey guys, so today I am doing a video that I really haven't done in quite a while, a Sephora haul, and also um, I got some bag organizers, I got a little new card holder thing, and I'm going to give you an update on some of the Orbe things that I purchased recently, or the Orbe, the Orbe things that I purchased recently, those two items, and um, I've had this Sephora stuff for a while, so I can give you guys a review on the products as well. So um, I guess I'll go ahead and show the Sephora things quickly and get into that, and then I'll sort of tell you about everything else that's sort of like new things to give little reviews, because I haven't really done that in a while. I think it's kind of fun. Um, but first, before we get started, I'll tell you what I'm wearing. I've got my locket cuffs. I've got my bubble bar. I think these are called Orb. Uh, bracelets and um, th this necklace is actually from Bubble Bar 2. I loved it when I bought it and then I kind of stopped wearing it because it had like another spiky piece made into it and a dog tag piece that had like the ball chain kind of like what's on a fan pole. What are those called? You know what I'm talking about. Um, and then it was kind of uh, jeweled and it was a little funky and I just liked the look of this so I removed those pieces because it's like it's a one piece necklace you know what I mean so um, yeah it's kind of fun when you get things that are fairly inexpensive you can kind of just customize it yourself because I always looked at it and thought I wish that wasn't there and I wish that wasn't there and I thought why not just take it off so this is what it looks like um, up close really really pretty and I really hope they still sell these I probably should have looked into that and then um, something that I'm wearing is actually it's not that big of a deal but it's something that I recently got that I wanted to share with you Ugh, probably need to tie them they're these really cool sweatpants um, this is one of those Everlane sort of boxy thick pocket tee tank thing so I got these um, sweatpants from Target and they're tapered. I think I bought a size too big. I'm still sort of in my prego mindset. So I bought mediums, which usually for my rear I would get a medium um, because I'm like a 26, 27 in pants, but I always buy a medium and stretchy pants because I do have a butt. So, but I think I could have done a small on these, but um, they're just, they're really nice. And I want to go back for different ones, but I just, I love these. So the things at Sephora, got some really good stuff, and like I said, I've had it for a while, so, you know, I didn't want to just say, hey, I got this, and just do a haul video, which sometimes I like to do, but there were things that, you'll kind of see when I talk about them, but they were all things that I really wanted to try before I talked about, but kind of like sparked the whole, um, order was the fact that they have the La Vanilla, Vanilla Coconut Healthy Deodorant, in vanilla coconut readily available again. I don't know what it is about this scent and a lot of you guys if you like this you you feel me but I've used this for over three years and it comes and goes. Like most of the time I'll just get the three pack on lavanilla.com like on their website and you, you save a few bucks but then it will be out of stock and it won't even be on the website and then Sephora won't have this scent and it's just kinda like what? Like are they not having it anymore? And then once I talk about it in a video like, yeah, it's gone, I can't find it, then boom, it'll all be available again. So I don't know why this comes and goes, but I thought I would order two more of them because I think my whole like deodorant dilemma of why this wasn't working was because I was alternating it with an antiperspirant. Because you guys know for years, even when I was pregnant, that stuff was like it. It worked so great for me. You have to be consistent with it. You have to use it in the morning and at night, which I do. And if you do that every day, it'll be great. So next I picked up a Tony Moly, whoa, product, and this is the Peach Hand Cream. And I love this brand based solely on the fact that their Honey Lip Balm is, this is my second one I've had of it. It's like, it's great. I use it every night before bed. It's the best lip balm. But their packaging is very like, there's no mystery here. If, you, if you're going to order Peach Hand Cream, you're going to, it's going to look like a peach. You know what I mean? The lip balms and lips and... You know, it's it, all their other packaging is just so literal and so cute. But um, I love the little box. It has a little character on it. And it's really sweet. What I really like about it, I thought when I first got it, okay, that's way too small. It is like, it's not going to be like a typical hand cream. It is so freaking thick. It smells so good. The first time I used it, I was like, I wanted to eat it. It smelled like, um, it just smells like a yummy peach dessert. And I like that it's 
The consistency is so great for your hands, but it's so good for your cuticles. So you can see it's like, you know, that consistency that's just there. So um, I, this is like my little luxury, like, cutie patoot hand cream. If you work, you know, from a desk or something, this would be so cute to get and keep. And honestly, when I got it, I thought, hand cream in a little jar like that, I don't know, but it is so good. I want, I really want to look at the other ones too. They had an apple, which would be such a cute gift for a teacher. If your kids are in school and you want like a good teacher gift or something, they have one that's in an apple and that would just be so cute. Um, and then they have, there was one more, I think there was a tangerine, but the peach, can't go wrong. Okay, there's a couple more Tony Moy things that I really wanted to order, but they were out of stock. So I'm on the little email list. So maybe, there's really nothing else I need from Sephora, but um, if I get those, I'll show them to you. Okay, and then I got a couple of these Belief products, and I'm really surprised about these. Um, they have a ton of different kinds. It's, it's just something kind of new to me because I've never seen it before. But all of their products, like when you read about them, it's things that you're like, oh, I want that, or that has something interesting about it. You know what I mean? Um, where is this? This was what caught my eye first, and it's the True Cream Aqua Balm. I had tried a sample of this a while back and really liked it and thought, okay, I'm going to repurchase it. Well, then I ended up repurchasing these other items, and when um, you know, I use the Sephora app on my phone to order things, which is super easy, and you can click like mobile offers, and one of them was a deluxe sample of this. So I thought, well, I'll just get another sample and um, get something else. So basically it is, um, it says Napier's Herb and Plant Remedies. It's kind of like, I don't know if that's like the main brand, but then it says Belief, like B-E-L-I-F. Uh, this is the first aid overnight brightening mask. It says it has um, formulated with black truffle extract one of the world's finest delicacies, invisible capsules of amber, pearl, and gold powder to awaken instant invisible luminosity. So you read all those ingredients and you think, okay, this is gonna be like $100. I think it was like 30 something. So the price point isn't that bad for what it is, especially considering how large they are. I love the containers, they look like little top hats. Um, so I have used this every night since I got it, I would say 10 times at least. And um, do I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so... No, but my skin I find lately is getting more even anyways, just from like marks fading and things like that and just my skin getting better. It just has a very, um, I would say, almost a very fresh kind of a hint of an orangey scent. And I like it because usually at night I don't use a heavy moisturizer or really a moisturizer at all. I use my uh, Murad Acne and Wrinkle Reducer Serum and I find a lot of times that I just don't really need anything after that. So I've been enjoying that. And then this is so freaking cool. I've used this three times and it is, it's something that I kind of want to use every night. I'll usually do this like if I'm going to take a bath or something. That's when I usually use face masks. Um, like I'm gonna actually like sit in a tub and take a bath. It is the Belief First Aid Transforming Peel Off Mask. And I'm a sucker for peel off masks, but this one is very different. So I'll read to you what it says. It says it removes dead skin cells, tightens the appearance of pores. It's formulated with lemon balm and white willow bark, which is basically a form of salicylic acid. It's gonna kind of do the same thing. It helps to clarify and tone the skin. It leaves skin um, clear, luminous, and smooth. So, basically, I was thinking it was going to be like a typical peel-off mask, kind of like the like the Basha Black Mask or the blue one, you know, that you peel off and it almost feels like a Biore strip and it takes like the hair off your face and it feels like it's really, which I love those. This one is not like that. So you put it on your face and when I put it on, it feels like a thick gel moisturizer and I thought there's no way, you know, this is, gonna, this is just going to be so weird. I expected to hate this. So I put it on. And I took a bath with it on um, probably about 20 minutes. And then when I got out and I looked in the mirror, I noticed it was kind of like just, it felt like my skin just drank it up. And I was like, okay, you know what? And, but it says what you need to do is when you get ready to peel it off, you don't peel it off dry. You take some warm water in your hand and you dampen it. And then you peel it off. And I thought that's going to be weird. I'm not kidding, like when I did that, you could just see it kind of separate from your face, and when you did it, it was just like goo, like um, 
really, like it actually came off clean though, which was kind of neat. Um, so I do like this because I kind of like it to, I like a product like that that has like salicylic acid in it or something clarifying to kind of sit on your skin and really absorb. So this I feel like is something that will actually make a difference over time. Um, and then the Aqua Balm, this is something that on the nights that I don't use the brightening mask, I could use this. So if I feel like, you know, I don't need something super heavy, I could use this. But every night I have been using the brightening mask. It says, I think, the brightening mask to only use, like, maybe three times a week. Um, maybe I'm, let me read that. Maybe I'm like, imagining that. Yeah, it says two to three times a week, and I have literally used it, like, every night. So maybe that's not good. So, yeah, maybe I should alternate it with this, and I do like this. This is the Aqua Bomb, and it is a very gel-like moisturizer. It says it really, like, plumps up your skin, and it feels clean. Um, the smell is amazing. I just, I really love the smell of it. Um, I can hardly smell it due to the peach hand cream, but, and the peach hand cream is so good, like, after I rubbed it in, like, you'll think, oh gosh, it's gonna be so greasy. It's not, like, your hands look amazing, but they're not greasy. But how do you keep this in your purse? Like, I wish this came in a squeezy tube. Maybe it's that good, maybe I could figure out a way to transport it with me, or maybe I can find where they sell something like that, because I'm obsessed. Um, okay, so that is that, and I got a little sample of the Dior Show mascara when I checked out. I have always said like I'm not a super fan of this, but I don't think I've ever gotten just the regular Dior Show. I think I've always gotten like the x Dace or the Blackout or the, you know how they've got all those different ones, because when I go to look at them at Sephora, I know in the past, I always see Dior Show, and then you see all the other ones, and you think, oh, well, those must be better, and you end up buying one of those. And um, I've been using this one and I kind of like it. I'm like, maybe I can see what all the fuss is about with Dior Show. But it's funny because it really smells like uh, rose, like rose oil. And maybe that's an ingredient, but this type of brush is really what I love to use when I do false lashes and I want to put mascara on after. It just kind of feathers it on. Um, so I've, I've been enjoying that a lot. So next, what else? Um, I feel like there's so much to talk about. I guess I'll go ahead and talk about the Oribe stuff. So I went to the cosmetic market with my sister. Love that place, I cannot wait to go back. I got these two products, the Oribe Dry Texturizing Spray, which is really one of like the most buzzed about Oribe products that you hear people talk about, and the Oribe Gold Lust Transformative Mask. I got really excited when I saw these because it's something that I've always seen. I know it's like kind of a higher end hair product brand, whatever, and I'm just not super spendy with hair products, although lately I've kind, I'm kind of becoming a convert, hate to even say that, uh, not because of this, but because of something else, which isn't like super expensive anyway, but I'll explain. Um, but it's, it was just exciting to see these, and I thought, I'll try this. I was going to get the purse size, but when I compared the price, I thought, I'll just go ahead and get this. Um, it is not like a dry shampoo, and that, like, if you used it on, like, third or fourth day hair that was, like, gross oily, it's not going to, like, absorb the oil and make it great, but that's not what I use it for anyways. That's not what I like these sprays for anyways, because I really, I wash my hair, like, every other day, so when I use a texturizing spray, it's really just for the texture, and that's what this is. It's so dry, and the first time I use it, I, the fact that it is so light and dry, you'll think, oh, I need more. Like, there was nothing that came out of there. And then you end up kind of with, like, too much, and it feels a little dirty. So um, less is more, and really feel it as you spray it. Like, use just a little and then feel it, you know, because you'll find yourself not having to use much at all. But um, the deep conditioner, the Gold Lust, I really have been trying to keep myself from going crazy with this. I use it twice a week. I just, I love a deep conditioner. And um, it was, it's one of those that really clings to your hair. And when you rinse it off, again, like I said in that video, it's kind of like Disney princess hair. <laughs> like you feel like it's all like one piece, just very silky. And I just feel like, you know, the ends do better. I don't trim my hair a lot. I mean, I'll do a video um, pretty soon, I guess, on like hair care stuff and how I've been doing my hair lately. Not that it's like super great or anything, but I feel like it's, um, I feel like it's been really healthy that I've, that I've grown it out good. Uh, so that's that. I would definitely recommend those two products. I, I really like it, but don't get the dry texturizing spray if you're really wanting a dry shampoo. I would say those are just two totally different products. 
But like if your hair is like on the second day, like how mine gets, and it gets very flat. Um, it's not necessarily oily, it's just like meh, it needs something. Um, that's not really a dry shampoo because you're not really absorbing oils and that's not really the problem. It just is good for volume and um, that's what I love. Okay, I want to show you a couple things. Um, new purse organizers, okay. All these handbag videos that I've been doing lately and I'm glad that you guys enjoy them and um, you know, I really try to just kind of throw them in as extras. You're getting more videos for me, so if you don't want to see those, you don't have to watch them, and I don't really think I have to describe that to most people. Most people get it. But yeah, I still do my beauty videos. I, I still do just the same amount. I just throw those in extra. So if you are like me and you enjoy those, then you'll then you'll like that too. But I did get one new item that I'm going to show you. Um, a Louis Vuitton item that I have used that I really am liking that I'm going to show. And uh, then these purse organizers. Okay, I'm never, I've never been a purse organizer fan. I've never understood it. But with my never full, with things like that, after going back to those pieces, after being used to carrying like my Chanel wallet on a chain, or my smaller Chanel bags, or my smaller Louis Vuitton bags, things that are very tiny, when you go back to carrying a big bag like that and everything's just sort of rattling around, it makes me a little uncomfortable and I never used to be like that. So every time I post those videos, people ask me about purse organizers. Several of you recommended this. Several of you talked about these on Instagram. I forgot which video it was, but a girl had recommended this to me and um, I went and looked at it and thought, honestly, I didn't even go right away. I was just like, yeah, whatever, good. You always see purse organizers and stuff. When I went and saw that you could get them in the lining color of the bag, 100% sold. First and foremost, I need. I knew that I needed. I say need, but the. I mean, you don't need any. Y'all aren't. I mean, y'all get it. Y'all aren't dumb. Y'all get that. You. You feel me? If any bag needed an organizer, it would be the GM Neverfull. I still don't have mine yet. It's still at the hospital at the. I, I say that, but it's getting fixed. Um, and I'll do a video when I get it back because I'm super excited about it. So. Um, the company I got it is um, Samorga. Samorga? Samorga? Sam Samorga. I got it in red. And they have ones that are more expensive and like that are made thicker, I guess. And I just, the ones that I got were just the lesser expensive ones. I don't even know what the more expensive ones would feel like because this is thick as crap. Um, but anyway, this is what the one looks like that I got for my Neverfull. And um, so you sit it down inside of it. I might do a video like showing how I pack it when I get that back and stuff. But how cool! And I got it in red. So when you look down in the bag, it won't be like meh. And if I would have had that, I would have totally used my Neverfull for Olivia's diaper bag. Although part of the reason I didn't was because I knew the handles were having that cracking issue, which is what, what's getting fixed. And um, I knew that within a diaper bag, I would want to have like different containers or different sections. And I just thought I'm going to add so much weight to this bag, adding bags within bags within bags, you know what I mean? But this is like major, this feels like nothing. I mean, it's really high quality felt, but it's very lightweight. I mean, it's just like, whatever. Um, it's not heavy and canvassy feeling. It's just, I don't know if you could tell, but <laughs> it feels good. But yeah, it, it holds bottles and um, I don't, I'm just kind of a convert. And then I like how it has this in the side. So if you have the new version of the Neverfull, you can, put the pouch down in it. Mine's an older version, so I don't have the pouch that goes with that one. I haven't really bonded with the pouch that came with my MM, the Rose Ballerine one, um, but I'm kind of figuring it out now as it goes. I'm like, it's growing on me. And then I looked and thought, okay, well, do I need one for my MM? And of course, that one's Rose Ballerine, that beautiful light pink. They did not have that color, but the closest one, I thought this won't be bad to put down in it, it's sort of a, uh, like a, I was going to say dune. This is probably what you'd buy just to go into the regular ones like that. They're the monogram. This would probably match that color. But I figured when you look down in the bag, you can flip that pocket down over this. You know what I mean? Um, or you can even put it wherever. And it's not going to go all the way up the bag. Like, you'll still be able to see the lining of the bag. But then this will just be down in there. And it won't be such a contrast. But, um, so then I've got this one that is exactly like the big one. So um, again, 
I really like this one because you still get that feeling like of the Neverfull where it's got that giant area in the middle where you can still put crap uh, but you know around the outside it's it's more and then I got one for my speedy 25 and this one is more like little pockets within which I'm glad my Neverfull ones aren't like that because like I said I, I still like to have that feeling with the Neverfull that you can chuck something down in it um, you couldn't really do that with this you could still do that with this because you could chuck something down in it and it would just still go in that so um, especially you can see that in this GM so I love that Gosh, I feel like this should be a separate video but maybe I'll do another video and just put it down in there and it'll be an extra video anyway so if you're not into it you don't have to watch but I got this one in navy blue to go in my um, my infinite empreant, uh what's it called um, speedy bandolier 25 and using the 25, you may think, why the heck do you need a bag organizer and a 25 speed? Honestly, that thing holds so much, I cannot even tell you. And one of the reasons why I really thought this would come in handy, these would come in handy also, is because, you know, I have that multicolor wallet or other pieces that, you know, are nicer that's within your bag that you might not want rattling around with everything else. And I love how, you know, I can just put my wallet in its own little place and everything will have its own little place and um, so I'm very excited about this they're very soft still so they're not super structured in that when you know you can still maintain it'll kind of keep it structured but it's just so lightweight it's nothing that's gonna be like you know what I mean it just doesn't have a harsh structure to it I didn't want to get into those too much but if you want to see a video of me putting those in the bags, of course that won't come for a while. I don't know when that will come because I don't know when I'm going to get my GM bag back. I haven't gotten any updates on it and I really didn't expect to because she said it would at least be like, it could be like six to eight weeks. I don't know. So we'll see. Um, but for my birthday, I told Brad this year, I was like, all I want literally is a rainbow chips cake by Betty Crocker because the rainbow chips frosting has come back. Um, and the cake mix. My birthday, we could not find the frosting still, but now they have it at Walmart. So um, I'm gonna get some more and make some cupcakes soon or something. But they had the cake mix, so he made me the best cake. I was like, that's all I want. Um, but months before that, when I was at the actual Louis Vuitton store, I was waiting for, what was I doing? She was going to get something, and she said, here, you can look at this. And it was their book that they leave out sometimes it's really for the employees there to like look and see upcoming collections they can order stuff it has all the information things that are coming out she was like if you see anything you know for the it's for the whole rest of the year um she was like if you see anything i'll put one on reserve for you so if you want something you can come look at it and it's not like i was ordering it but just her saying when it comes in i'll hold it aside for you so you can come look at it and see if you want to buy it you don't have to buy it so i saw this and it is the rose ballerine little card holder. I'll put the info below. I don't feel like going and getting the little, I don't even know what box it's in, but I had the little card and all the info. I'll just go get it. Okay, so I went and got my little box and I'll, I'll show you that in a second, but I want to show you this first. So when I was flipping through, this is the only thing that I saw in the whole book for everything coming out the rest of the year that had the Damier Ben, Damier Bean and Ben. I don't know. However I say it, I'm sure it's 100% wrong, but you feel me. I, I don't speak French. Um, Anyways, and the Rose Ballerine, which I love, and I love that combo. The glazing is in the Rose Ballerine. It's so pretty, and then I love how the back, they did, you know, they did it sort of on a diagonal, and it kind of, you can see it kind of, the print, the checks kind of go in like that. It's got this beautiful pleat, so it's got two um, card slots. It has a little thing, it says Bane in Spain. It's just so pretty and cute. And um, so anyways, I, I had no idea. I was thinking it wasn't coming out like till the fall. I wasn't expecting them to call me or anything. And the store manager called me because um, Cindy had been gone or out of town or something. But he saw that it came in and he called me and said, would you like to come look at it? Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I really don't want to come down there. And um, it was around $200, I believe. And Brad was like, get it for your birthday. So, so I was like, whatever. Okay, so this came in and it was just the sweetest little birthday present so um super fun and you know a little it's not it's brand new so I don't think it's going to be like on the website yet or anything but if you really wanted to order it this is um you would probably have to call the 866 number or you'd have to call or, or go talk to a sales associate um 
a lot of times they don't this doesn't come with it it's a little security thing but this 235 okay so it's the pte carts Kesa d-e-r-b so it's like damier ben rose ballerine and then that's the price the number is n6122 again here's the little it's a little textile card and then that is info, but we can't see it, but I did read you the number N6122. It is something that's in their book, so they will be able to find it. It's pretty much the only little card holder they have like that, and it's kind of unique. I remember when I was flipping through, I saw it, and I was like, wow, that's cute. I just remember not getting, not telling her that, thinking, oh, I really want that. Make sure you call me when that comes in. It was more just like, oh, I like that. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at it, you know, pull it aside, because that is cool. And then, yeah, it just worked out, so... Little card holders like this, you may think, what a waste, they're so small. You can carry these as a wallet if you just wanted to put, like, you know, some cash and then your driver's license, a couple of cards, whatever, not a big deal. But I love them because this is so thin, you could literally put this in any bag. There's no bag this would not fit in extra. But, like, if you were going somewhere where you needed, like, say you have, like, a work key card or you have an access card for something or you have something that you may not want to keep in your wallet. Um, something you're going to be accessing a lot. Um, if you were going on a trip and you had to have like passes for something and you wanted to keep them all separate or keep uh, gift cards separate or keep, I don't know, I can think of a million different uses for this. And um, yeah, that's that's kind of what you do. So little card holders like this are so fun and um, expensive still, but not wildly expensive if you wanted a cute little Louis Vuitton piece. It's pretty accessible. So that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's a lot. But I'm, I'm so excited about all the new Sephora stuff and I just really wanted to share those things with you. So thank you guys for watching and I will as always link to everything below and I'll actually type out the info of that little wallet card holder. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.